Hello Internet world and welcome to my review of Minute. This is a smart home alarm. Something very different and I was really interested when the manufacturer approached me to uh, review this. Uh, full disclosure as well, they sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, just to share with you my experience. And um, I was pleasantly surprised because this is a, a different sort of home alarm. It's really targeted or, or really useful in quite a few different use case scenarios. One, if you just want something very smart to monitor temperature, noise, uh, humidity, etc., in your own home. But also, it's really useful perhaps if you have a rental property and you want to monitor that rental property without sort of breaching any privacy regulations with using cameras, because this is a cameraless system. Or three, perhaps you've got a uh, Airbnb, perhaps a, a holiday let that you let out, and you want to keep an eye on the temperature, noise levels, etc., uh, within that property. Inside the box, this is a box by the way, very nice box, it shows you on the side we've got an app for the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store for iPhones. On the back here it actually lists off some of the main uh, features. Before I run through those features, uh, let me just show you what you get in the box. You get a little welcome guide. This is going to guide you through, and it's very, very simple, guide you through setting up your Minute uh, smart alarm. You also get a charging cable. On one end it's USB-C, on the other end it is USB-A. Uh, you don't get a charger inside the box, you have to use your own charger, but it's got a really long battery life. We also get a metal mounting plate. This is going to screw to the ceiling. And in addition to that metal mounting plate, you also get the screw and a wall plug. And you also get these three little stickers. I'm not sure about why they've got these particular words on them. It didn't quite make sense, but it says minute alarm connected to neighbors. I think that refers to the sort of noise level uh, monitoring on this because it would hopefully um, alert you if there was noise that was going to disturb your rental property's neighbours. I think that's why the wording is, is like that. And then you get the uh, Minute unit itself. Very nice unit. We've got a button on the top here uh, which is used for activating the device. Uh, and we've also got like a, a ring light on here as well. Actually if I push this you'll see the light come on. And this can be used to also light up a dark hallway uh, with just a bit of sort of ambient light if somebody walks underneath uh, the minute alarm. And then we've also got on the side here uh, a USB port for charging it. And then we've also got some uh, like grills on the side for the sensors and monitoring purposes. On the bottom here, we've got a little battery uh, button. We've also got a reset button. We've got an on off switch here as well. And this quite simply mounts via the magnetic plate to the ceiling. So before I take a closer look with you at the app and uh, some of the app features, uh, let's just run through some of the main uh, features of Minute. We've got motion detection, which speaks for itself. We've also got recognizes other alarms. So this can actually notify you if another alarm is going off in your home or building. Uh, tampering detection. So if somebody actually removes it from this metal plate, then, uh, then it will notify you that somebody's taken the alarm down. Or indeed, if they push the button, it will notify you. It's also got a built-in siren, so it can uh, actually give out noise as well uh, to warn people that their uh, motion has been detected, uh, for example. And then it also just monitors some really useful things, things like temperature, noise, humidity, and mold risk. Extremely easy to set up, and on a single charge, you get up to six months of battery life. So that's sort of the, the main features. Let's take a look at the app. Let's just pop this uh, box out of the way, and we'll take a closer look at the app. And I've been really impressed with the app, actually, because uh, it just works very well, and it's really well laid out. So. On the main, this is like the main home screen. And here, you've just got uh, the noise monitoring. And it's saying that the noise level is okay. And you can set this threshold to whatever you want within the settings panel. Uh, we can also 
put the security alarm on or off. I'm not going to do that within this particular demonstration. And we can also turn the noise monitoring on and off on this main page as well. If we go into settings, uh, here we can allow things like guest connection, uh, sharing uh, home and away status, silent alarm, scheduled alarm, etc. We can also pop this panel out here and this gives you access to other uh, sort of features of the app. But if we go into the actual minute panel, uh, this is where it shows you when it was last updated and also what the current levels are. And if we tap onto one of these, it gives us some motion events, noise monitoring events with the levels shown, uh, temperature and humidity and uh, air pressure down the bottom as well. It's still analysing the mould risk. It takes about a week to actually analyse the risk of mould within the particular building you're monitoring. Uh, you can go by day, week, month or year. And if you take something like the temperature, for example, you can actually tap that icon there and go into like a, a landscape view uh, where you get to see uh, more data sort of over time. Really well laid out. Love the way they've done that. Uh, within this panel as well, you can see it just updated again. Within this panel as well, you can also go into settings in here. You can give this device an actual name. You can turn the night light on and off. We've got window break detection, uh, alarm recognition, thresholds, which is where you select the noise monitoring, temperature and humidity thresholds. And we've also got some advanced settings in here as well. Uh, what else can I show you? Let's go back one more tab. We've also got groups where you can invite other family members in to be able to uh, monitor the device. And then we've also got a log. Uh, so for example, if I push the button, uh, it will actually notify me that the button has been pressed, which is really useful, or indeed that it was removed from its mounting plate, or if it goes offline, and it will notify you of other things as well, perhaps if the temperature or humidity threshold has reached a certain level. It also shows these in the main notification pane on your smartphone as well. Uh, really good, really impressed with how this works. You can see that uh, last notification to just come in there. It's a great way of monitoring, as I said, a rental property, um, or maybe you've got a student let, or maybe you just want to monitor uh, a room or a building uh, within your home uh, or an outbuilding. Uh, it connects via Wi-Fi and it just works extremely well. I think it's got a, a really good long battery life, a great app and a great set of features. And I really can recommend that you check this out. This is fantastic. It's like, a, as I mentioned before, you can't, if you've got like a rental property, you can't go putting cameras around it, but it's still good to be able to keep an eye on noise levels, not only for if the people who are renting the property are making too much noise, but if they're being disturbed by too much noise as well. Uh, it's a great all round product and a really fresh look and a fresh take on a smart home alarm. I've left links down in the video description. Please do check those out. And also, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.